Um, one of my favourites, although there's so many interesting works, is um, a group of daguerreotypes, um, one of which is of Daniel O'Connell and uh, his associates, the Young Irelanders. Um, and they're really incredible because they were taken, these early photographs, uh, when O'Connell was in the Richmond Bridewell. Um, so a photographer went into the prison uh, and set up his equipment and took the photograph and it's incredibly rare. We have no other photographic image um, that we're aware of of uh, Daniel O'Connell. There are lithographs after other photographs but, but nothing else. So this is really early, 1844 this was taken, so just at the beginning of uh, when the, the photography, the invention actually came to the public. Uh, came to public note. So one of my favourite works in the show is Nelson's Pillar by Eric Cartman and um, this is again was a monument that used to exist in Dublin and it doesn't anymore so it's very nice for us to have the documentation of a place like that and it's taken just from the top with the view uh, where cars used to be able to park down the centre of McConnell Street which I'm sure they cannot anymore um, but what's interesting I think with people like Eric Cartman who was a German American photographer and came here in 1964 inspired by Joyce's writing like many of the photographers mm -hmm. in the show were inspired by literature. When you compare his work to the work by Irish photographers working in Ireland, like Edward Quinn, in his work the cities are bustling and there's loads of people around and it's very informal. But in works by Eric Hartman, you capture the solitude of the city and the kind of stark contrast between light and darkness. And he's more looking at it in an artistic way and again capturing the tradition of Ireland that was on the cusp of changing with industrialization. So you do have this kind of interesting contrast that people will be able to see between international and Irish photographers mm -hmm. in the show.